Hey guys, what up? This is Dial from Dial Productions. Welcome back to the channel. Sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I don't want to really get into that right now. But let's get started. Um, If you can see by the title, yes, this is a new camera. This is actually a HD video test on the HX100V made by Sony. And the actual model number is Sony Cybershot DSC HX100V, but it is most commonly known as the HX100 or HX100V. So this video is currently being recorded at 1920 by 1080 um, at 60 frames per second with a data rate of 28 megabits per second. But if you do look at the video right now, it is actually um, in, actually exported at 720p HD at 60 frames per second with a bit rate of only 10 megabits per second. And I wanted to do that to see by compressing the footage if it would give it a nice cleaner and sharper image. And this is currently being recorded using these stereo mics. Hopefully they sound crisp and clean. I'm going to bring in this Rubik's Cube here to give you guys a little color test. And as you can see, the camera did focus in on the Rubik's Cube pretty quickly. I've got to say, all the colors are all matched. And, um, except for the green, actually. The green is a little bit lighter than it actually looks here in real life. And I am looking directly at the LCD screen and looking at the Rubik's Cube. And I can pretty much see the difference. But that's not a really big problem. I think it's kind of like a little white balance issue. And the white balance is currently on auto, just to show you guys. And it is on auto focus as well. And there is also a manual focus a ring and manual focus function on this camera, which I will cover in the brief overview in the next video. Um, yeah, and the uh, it is actually at zero exposure. I haven't jacked up the exposure even at least one stop. Um, so we're going to bring in another object here, we're going to bring in this little iPod. And as you can see, the camera did focus on, on it pretty quickly. So I'm going to bring it up a little bit closer here, show you guys a little bit of a macro shot. There you go, all the text is uh, in focus right now, and you can see the depth of field between this iPod and the back of the wall and the keyboard. So now we're going to bring a little bit of glare into the screen and see if the camera can still focus. So I'm going to bring it, you can see the glare of the light is directly at the LCD screen, but still manages to pull focus and isn't really hunting. Well, actually it is right now. If I bring it in a little bit over here and there is no more glare, then it will focus. Lastly, I'm going to bring in this little eraser. As you can see, holds in focus or pulls in focus pretty quickly. I'm going to bring this really close to the lens and see how long it takes to focus. So alright, the eraser right here is currently in focus, it only took about 3-4 seconds, not that long, and the eraser is about an inch away from the camera lens right now. And actually lastly, I'm going to bring this battery here, and as you can see the camera did lock in focus pretty quickly, I'm going to bring it out, bring it back in, probably took about 3 seconds, and I'm going to bring this really close up and see if it still manages to get all that detail in the text. So currently the battery is about uh, about in three quarters of an inch from the lens and you can still see all the information on the battery itself. So alright guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Don't worry, I won't leave you guys without any content anymore. More content to come soon within the next couple of weeks, actually next couple of days. So stay tuned and if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. If you like this video, make sure to click that thumbs up button down below and uh, comment if you have any questions or want to see any, if you have any questions about this camera or my setup. And I hope to enjoy this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.